What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday of stuff breaking down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, but we do have a few new things that actually came in today and some pretty exciting stuff to talk about. Before we get started, I just wanted to ask you guys to be a little patient this week. Post office is a bit backed up. We ran out of a few things like the pemmican on Frankie's Free Range Foods. But we should have all of the orders out by Wednesday, Thursday of this week. So if you guys don't get a shipping notification or anything by then, please reach out to me via email and we could either refund the order or make sure we sent it out for you. But let's take a look around. So I told you guys I had to spend about 5,000 on HVAC work for the freezer and the fridge. And I got to spend another few thousand to fix this. The guy came, it's still uh, dripping all over the place from condensation. So we got a nice puddle on the floor. And then I came up here today, I saw this, I got a little excited. I was curious what it was because I've been waiting on quite a few things from overseas. And then I opened it up to reveal a new Wi-Fi shielding product. So this is a router guard and inside of this they also sent us some Wi-Fi shielding mesh bags that you can use for your router or cell phone. I'll take this out and show you guys everything in detail next week. And we also have another product that's new downstairs for Wi-Fi shielding and grounding rod that I'll show you in a little bit. Over here just some miscellaneous stuff. We got ingredients for the new granola bars we're going to make and I have some new containers for the cod liver oil. Speaking of which, the apple bars are a definite no-go right now. So hopefully by the end of this week or the weekend, I can have uh, some new granola bars made for you guys. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, pretty low volume on the orders this week. We didn't really get much back in stock and didn't do any promotions. Uh, so we got a nice little breather to kind of catch up and get things organized down here because we should have eggs coming in this week. The eggs are being picked up tomorrow at the farm. They're gonna be brought to us and we should be shipping them out. I still haven't decided how I'm gonna do it. I, I think I have to put them on the meat website, but I would like to keep the egg orders separate from the meat orders because you, you can't have eggs get frozen or, or chilled like that. They're just gonna break. So that, that's to be decided, but uh, we're gonna have the corn and soy free eggs available end of this week on frankeastrangemeat.com so definitely keep an eye out for that guys they're probably going to be nine dollars a dozen i mean i want to do eight and if if we sell them at nine and nothing's breaking and we're not having too many shipping issues we'll probably uh, bump the price down to eight on frankie strange foods as i said guys we ran out of the pemmican and we also ran out of water kefir so we're going to try to have some stuff back in stock by the middle of the week, but you guys have been buying all of it in the freezer, we got some of the Wagyu steak ends in stock. Pretty limited amount. Uh, we have a decent amount of the flat iron steaks available. You guys like these because they're nicely portioned. We have the individually wrapped goat testicles back in stock. You guys like these. They're just nice and convenient for the testosterone boost. Take one out. Have it once a week, once every two weeks. Up here, we got plenty of the sliced beef bacon, guys. We should have that consistently in stock. We finally have the lamb chops back in stock, guys. Bone in. Very nice. And there's only about 10 veal brains left, but we should have these back in stock later this week. And here, we did get some more of the oxtail in stock for you guys as well. So not too much going on with the meat supply end of things. I'm still trying to get the marrow bones, the liver, some organs all in stock. I actually went to the Javits Center on Sunday, yesterday. Uh, they had this like specialty food event for suppliers and distributors, and I was hoping to maybe see if there were any meat suppliers there, but there were actually none. It was all like prepared food so I did get in contact with a few people uh, to maybe get some more stuff like outside of the meat business like maybe some potato chips some packaging stuff but nothing really that crazy nothing that I'm too excited about so hopefully we can get some stuff back in this week otherwise I don't know it's just as I've said it many times you know when I can't keep stuff in stock the business drops drastically even out on profit don't really grow. You know, there was one guy that can do packaging for our best bars and pemmican and stuff. So we have like more legitimate labels. Uh, there's another company that has some non-perishable coolers. So who knows? On organ supplements, you guys have been kind of buying everything. We're running low. Uh, maybe we'll be able to restock this. Maybe we won't. I still haven't heard back from any of the suppliers these past few weeks. On the vitamin end of stuff, we are out of K2. We're running quite low on a few of the minerals, but I'm also trying to get these back from the suppliers. On Frankie's Naturals, we will have the hair pomade back in stock. Uh, should be tomorrow, guys. So if you guys have been waiting for that, we'll have it. And this is the other new product I was talking about. This is a grounding rod. 
So if you guys are not familiar with the grounding earthing stuff, you basically take this steel rod, you put it in the dirt in your backyard, and then you run this wire into your house. And then we have a grounding strap that you can attach to this and then put this on your wrist or ankle or whatever you would like. It's basically a way to ground yourself inside. So we'll have the router guards, the shielding bags, as well as the grounding rod and strap on wifishielding.com available. But keep in mind, we do have more stuff coming in. So there's a few more products I'm waiting on, mainly the fabric and the clothing and the bed canopies. If you guys have also been waiting on that stuff, the clothing's probably not gonna be ready for another month or two, but maybe the other stuff will come in a little bit sooner. Back to the topic of the eggs and the farmers. Uh, I was excited for this business relationship, but uh, the guy's not willing to do the special feed I requested. It's still corn and soy free. It's still a very high quality feed. It's just not hypoallergenic. So that, that turned me off a lot. The guy doesn't really respect my volume of business or that type of stuff. Uh, and he doesn't want to do the dairy moving forward. So I feel like I'm back at square one. And then I speak to the butcher that I just sent, you know, $500 worth of organic spices, probably more than that. And it took me hours and hours to put it together, do those formulations. And he was like, oh, well, I got to pick some strawberries this week. I was like, I was, I was just trying to be polite on the phone. I was like, did this guy just say that he has to pick strawberries? And so I go like, what do you mean? You got a strawberry farm? What are you doing? He's like, yeah, I got a, a thousand strawberry plants. And I was just like, this, these people are so out of fucking touch with reality. Like I'm potentially going to give you thousands of dollars worth of business every single week. And you're out in the fields picking fucking strawberries. What the fuck is wrong with these fucking people? This is why I'm going to be on a beach in Medellin, Colombia. I don't think Colombia has beaches, but the point is I'm going to be somewhere warm, nice and sunny with a bunch of girls that don't speak a word of fucking English. So I don't have to deal with this fucking nonsense down in this godforsaken warehouse. Basically. So, if you guys do want eggs, we will have them available on Frankie's True Range Meat later this week. Probably going to be in a pack of like 10 or 11 dozen just to start, and, uh, and then we'll see if we take it from there. Uh, as much as I would like to offer you guys the eggs separately, or maybe you could just tag on one in your order to try them out, um, it's going to be even worse than like shipping the water key from the glass bottles because the eggs are, are going to break a lot. So I'm expecting you guys to email me saying, hey Frank, two eggs broke, three eggs broke, four eggs broke, whatever in the shipment and uh, we'll try to pack it up really nice with a lot of bubble paper so that doesn't happen. But you guys can go to frank-stefan.com to check out all of my businesses and I'll try to keep you guys updated and posted on the new products and what we're getting back in stock uh, next week. Outside of that, if you guys can please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos.